Hi! I'm Miss Hannah from the Highland Park Public Library, and welcome to Library in Your Living Room. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tornado in a jar. Tornadoes are violent spouts of air that happen sometimes during a thunderstorm. They're not super duper common, they only happen about 1% of the time um, whenever a thunderstorm happens, but when they do occur, tornadoes can create a lot of damage. The winds inside of a tornado can get up to 300 miles an hour. And the winds inside of a tornado are strong enough to rip trees from their roots. They can pick up cars and move them around and they can destroy buildings, take them straight to the ground. In Illinois, tornadoes are most common during the springtime, um, but they can happen any time of year. In Highland Park though, because we're so close to Lake Michigan, we don't see tornadoes as often as other parts of the state do. Just in case you're in an area and there is a tornado that's predicted, here are some things you can do to keep you safe. If you're inside, you'll want to get to the ground floor or the basement of the building, the lowest level possible. Find a spot that doesn't have any windows. Bathrooms or closets are good places usually because they don't have windows most of the time. Crouch down as low as you can and cover your head with your hands. If you're outside and there's a tornado in the area, get indoors as soon as possible. If there's no way for you to get inside, Avoid any areas that have um, tall things like trees or power lines or bridges uh, because a tornado can pick those things up and drop them right on you. Find an open, low-lying area like a ditch. Lie down on your stomach, cover your head with your hands, and wait for the tornado to pass until you get up. All right, you ready to make a tornado? Excellent. Here are the supplies you'll need. You'll want a jar with a tight-fitting lid, dish soap, vinegar, a teaspoon measure, water, and glitter. I don't have glitter, so I'm going to use dried herbs instead. This is basil. You can also substitute little bits of grass or leaves that you find in your yard. So here is my tornado that's already made. What I did was filled the jar about three quarters of the way with water. I added one teaspoon of vinegar and one teaspoon of soap, and then I added plenty of basil. Once all that stuff is inside of the jar, put the lid on nice and tight, and then shake and swirl. And before you know it, the particles inside of your jar start spinning around really fast, just like the debris during a tornado. So there you have it. If you want to learn more about tornadoes or other weather phenomena, we have some really great databases from our website, hplibrary.org. Both Science Flicks and National Geographic Kids are great places to start because they have articles and videos and all kinds of really interesting information. You can also use our website, hplibrary.org, to find out about more library in your living room programs. And if you'd like the videos you see, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and find out more about our upcoming videos. All right, thank you so much for watching today. Until next time, stay safe and wash your hands.